Chronicles coming to you live in the flesh, man, and you know, live in the spirit. You know, we have a, another senseless brother, man, that was that was gunned down and killed in broad daylight, man. Uh, rapper FBG Duck that was murdered, I believe it was yesterday. And it's just very, very sad, man, that this violence and this destruction is going on, you know. Um, I just, you know, I'm almost at a loss of words, you know. And, and, and not just in Chicago, but across the whole country. But Chicago, man, they have really been tripping up there, you know. And, and it's, you know, it's really time for the gun violence to end because we're, we're, we're destroying ourselves. We're destroying the future, you know what I mean? And, and it's, it's senseless. It's senseless. So this story is coming from uh, CBS News Channel 2 in Chicago. So we thank them for bringing us this story. And uh, let's hear the details about what happened to the Chicago rapper that was killed and two others injured in Gold Coast shooting. From the CBS 2 Broadcast Center, this is CBS 2 News right now. Video only on two gunfire in the Gold Coast. A Chicago rapper shot to death just steps away from the mag mile. CBS News Vermont Terry live tonight in Northwestern Memorial Hospital. That's where two people are recovering from the shooting tonight. Vermont. Erica and Brad, a man and woman, were seriously injured in this shooting, but their friend, a rising Chicago rapper, did not survive. The bustling shops and shoppers in the Gold Coast caught off guard when chaos broke out on Oak Street off the Mag Mile. I heard like a machine gun going off. Howard Gordon happened to be standing outside his convenience store. That's when those shots echoed. His store surveillance captured the horrific sounds. I knew for sure this was gunshots. But I had no idea where they were coming from. CPD would later determine someone fired those shots at Chicago rapper FBG Duck. The investigation revealing not one, but two cars involved in his shooting. Four uh, individuals exited those vehicles, two from each vehicle, and began firing. Close to 50 shots fired before the shooters jumped back into their cars, leaving this bloody scene behind. And I saw a black car going very fast west on oak street those bullets killed fbg duck and also injured this woman who police say was with the rapper along with a third man the shooting in the gold coast left so many baffled it was real crazy that that would happen right here in this area out of nowhere it was quiet and peaceful and shopping going on then shots rang out CPD insisting this was not a random crime. The investigation reveals the gunman waited on the rapper and his friends to exit the store before shooting. The rapper died soon later at Northwestern Hospital. The afternoon shooting shook many, but leaves so many to realize the city's gun violence has no zip code. You know, the fact that this is Oak Street doesn't mean that this is a safe haven. And as of tonight, Chicago police do not have anyone in custody. They're hoping to talk to the two people recovering here at Northwestern to help shed some light on the investigation. But they will get some help from the many surveillance cameras that are located in the Gold Coast area. Reporting live outside Northwestern Hospital tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Jermont. And so as you see, man, that was just another brother gone too soon. Life has, life is more valuable than, the, than that. And we have to understand that. One of the Ten Commandments is thou shalt not kill. So as we see, family, it is a lot of wickedness going on in this earth today. You know, people are just killing at will, you know. And, 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 and my prayers and my condolences goes out to the family and friends. And it just breaks my heart, man, that another brother is gone way too soon, you know. So I just want to say Barak Atah which is ancient Hebrew for bless you, FBG duck. And, you know, may you rest in peace, man. And may the Father in heaven, you know, heal your family and give them peace in this tragic time, man, you know. And uh, for those out here that's new to the channel, thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to hit on that notification bell. And, you know, to all the YouTubers out there, man, be safe. Hug your family, hug, hug your loved ones, hug your children, you know, hug your friends. 
you know, be safe out there, man. And to the next episode, Shalom.